In this video on therapeutic ultrasound, I want to talk about the role of physical agents in occupational therapy. The fourth edition of the Occupational Therapy Practice Framework describes various types of interventions. Some examples include occupations and activities, interventions to support occupations, education and training, and there are several others. Physical agents are an intervention to support occupations. So that's how they fit in occupational therapy. In 2018, the American Occupational Therapy Association published a position paper on physical agent modalities. Physical agent modalities are part of occupational therapy only, quote, as part of a comprehensive plan of intervention designed to enhance engagement in occupation, end quote. Furthermore, quote, exclusive or standalone use of physical agent modalities without linking it to a client-centered occupation-based intervention plan and outcomes is not occupational therapy, end quote. The American Occupational Therapy Association also specifies when physical agent modalities can be used by occupational therapy practitioners. The first is that the practitioner must demonstrate safe and effective application of the physical agent modality. Demonstrate implies that the practitioner is actually applying the physical agent modality and showing another person who is competent that they are doing it safely and effectively. AOTA also requires practitioners to have foundational knowledge in human anatomy, physiology, biomechanics, and also modality-specific education. The American Occupational Therapy Association also wants practitioners to be aware of the current evidence related to all of their interventions, but also physical agent modalities, and of course, compliance with your local state law. Physical agent modalities may be used by occupational therapy assistants under the supervision of an occupational therapist only when both the occupational therapist and the occupational therapy assistant have demonstrated competency in the physical agent. AIDS or rehab techs, that is unlicensed personnel, uncertified personnel, do not provide skilled OT services. So if you have a rehab tech or a therapy aid, they should not be applying a physical agent. Even a hot pack or even putting a client into fluidotherapy, that's not a job for the aid. Each state will have its own law or practice act regarding occupational therapists, occupational therapy assistants, and the use of physical agent modalities. In the state of Wisconsin, where I live, the Wisconsin state law pretty much mirrors AOTA's position. That is that application of physical agent modalities is performed by an experienced therapist who has demonstrated and documented evidence of theoretical background, technical skill, and competence. Similarly, an occupational therapist may delegate the application of physical agent modalities to an occupational therapy assistant if that occupational therapy assistant, again, has demonstrated and documented service competency. Therapy aids do not provide skilled services and therefore should not be applying physical agents. And here are the references for this part of the presentation.